right, so I got some friends coming over for it's basically Cinco de Mayo. It's tomorrow, but it's, I guess it's Cuatro de Mayo because it's the fourth. But I got some big old beef short ribs right here that I dry brined overnight. Um, basically all I did was put some salt over it, just season it however you would usually, uh, put a generous amount of salt, and then what that's gonna do is gonna penetrate the meat and it's gonna season it and make it retain the moisture pretty well. Um, so I'm gonna throw it on the Weber Kettle Grill and I got the slow and sear. I've been watching a lot of the slow and sear um, adrenaline barbecue videos lately. Um, I've been checking those out. And basically every video they do, they dry brine all their meat. Um, so I just wanted to try that. I already did it once with a ribeye and it came out pretty good. So um, we're gonna throw it on. We're gonna make some tacos and I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. And I got a lot of other stuff I'm doing, but this is mainly about um, just the short ribs today. So I'm gonna show you guys. So check it out. All right, so we're going to start out seasoning these short ribs before I throw them on. I got some jalapeno powder right there. I use about a tablespoon of that with a couple of tablespoons of black pepper and some garlic powder, uh, about a tablespoon of the garlic powder. So we're going to put an even coat of this. Make sure you get all sides of the short ribs. Then we got the, um, the Weber kettle. I'm putting a little drip pan in there because the fat's going to render off. And I got about a dozen briquettes on the side, kind of smoldered um, to get it heated up. And then I'm going to put about um, almost a full chimney of charcoal in there. Try to get it as full as possible. Then we're gonna heat it up. I'm getting it to about 250 degrees, about 250 to 275. Throwing a couple of chunks of wood in there. I got some pecan and some cherry wood. Um, then I'm gonna fill up the reservoir full of water. It holds about four cups of water um, just to keep it uh, moist inside the chamber. And make sure you boil the water before you throw it on because um, it'll damage the slow and sear if you don't do it like that. Um, but we got all the produce here. I got a bunch of avocados, peppers, tomatoes, some onions. We got tomatillos. Um, but first, we're going to start off with the pico de gallo. So I'm going to do uh, a couple of onions cut up. I'm just going to slice them like this. And we got our Roman tomatoes. I'm going to cut those in half and kind of take off the core part. And then we're going to scrape out the guts to get all the moisture out because you don't want soggy pico. So I'm gonna cut them into strips like this and then dice them up. And we got our jalapenos. I didn't put too much uh, peppers in there just cause I got people coming over. I like spicy food, but I just didn't want it to get too crazy and burn, pe burn people's faces off. So uh, we got our jalapeno in there. Got the juice of a couple limes. Got some fresh cilantro, gonna dice that up. Throw a handful in there and mix it up. Season it to your taste. I got salt and pepper going in, and you got pretty standard pico de gallo. Um, then I got the tomatillos. I just peeled them off and rinse all the rest of the produce. Got it right there. Then I got my grill heated up. I'm just gonna get, get a good char on these vegetables. It's probably gonna take you about 10, 15 minutes on high heat, maybe a little less. Got a poblano, uh, poblano pepper on there also. So that's what they should look like. Uh, we got our salsa roja, which is a red salsa. Um, we got these dry Guajillo chilies and some chili de arbols. Um, I just steeped them in hot water. You want it almost boiling. Take out the stems and seeds and then get them till they're pliable. Uh, we're gonna throw them in with some tomatoes and a little bit of tomatillos for some sweetness. Then season it with salt and pepper, a little bit of garlic powder, and just barely a splash of vinegar because um, it kind of you know balances out. It's pretty good to put in there. So we got our red sauce. You can strain it, but I like it, you know, a little thick like that. Then we got our salsa verde. Throw everything green in there. We got the tomatillos and the charred peppers. Handful of cilantro. About a third of an onion. Got a good amount of salt in there and some more garlic powder. And then the juice of a couple limes. And we're gonna blend that up. And that's it, pretty simple. Then finally, we got our guacamole. I did a video on that, I'll link it in this video, but you know, just wanna get a bunch of avocados right here. And then we're gonna scoop them out, throw them in a blender. Got about a half an onion, the rest of those charred peppers, and some more garlic powder, about two tablespoons, or two teaspoons, and then some salt to taste, and a couple limes. And then I didn't show, but I forgot to put the cilantro in, but got a handful of cilantro diced up and threw it in there. Uh, but this is how it looks up. After about three hours, I got a good amount of smoke pretty fast. So we're gonna take it inside. I got some butcher paper, we're gonna wrap it up. And this is gonna speed up the cooking process. You could use foil if you want, uh, but the butcher paper helps protect the bark. So I'm gonna do it like that. 
So we're gonna throw these back on the cooker uh, for another few hours. Maintain temperatures around 275 to 300 degrees. Um, the total cook time on this was about six hours because about after three hours I took this off. And I wasn't even going for a temperature. I just usually see um, go by feel when it probes like butter, like no resistance and you know it's done. But if you're gonna go for a temperature, you're looking for 200 to 205 degrees. Um, but yeah, I'm just slicing into these. You can see super tender, super juicy, moist. And I let these rest for a half hour after I took them off. Um, just to let the juices redistribute. Um, as you can see all the richness right there. Like I said, that beautiful bark. Uh, but we're gonna shred all these up, make some tacos out of these. Had the Canelo Alvarez fight going on, had the friends over. We're gonna do a taco cheers. And it was a boring ass fight, but it's just like an excuse to get drunk. It was a good time. There's the tacos, guys, all finished. Um, I'm super glad I bought that slow and sear. It's pretty good. Um, you know, you don't need it. It's not necessary, but it's super convenient. Uh, you just throw a bunch of charcoal in there. It's an oversized charcoal basket. You got the water reservoir in there. It, you know, keeps everything nice and humid in the chamber. I'm gonna do some other cooks with the slow and sear. Probably do some reverse sears. Um, you know, tri-tip or some steaks and stuff like that. But thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe if you like the content. I'd appreciate it, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace out.